Hi everyone, my name is Tony Liu and I'm a product manager with BigQuery ML at Google Cloud. BigQuery ML today offers a unique in-database ML experience that enables users to create machine learning models and run inference against them within BigQuery by using simple SQL queries. But what if you could do even more with your data? We're super excited to announce that we've now added large language model capabilities to BigQuery ML. With this new function, you can now use LLM models in SQL and execute generous AI workflows all within BigQuery. Now, why are we adding these new features? Obviously, there's a lot of customer demand nowadays around generative AI features. But if you look at the technical components of it, there's a couple of good reasons for adding LLMs to BigQuery. First of all, LLMs are much better at many common tasks than our classic NLP models. Secondly, it allows users to work with natural language for complex tasks. And third, it unlocks new capabilities such as content generation from within BigQuery that was not possible before. Today, it is my great pleasure to welcome our good friend and longtime customer, Seamus from Faraday, to join us in this special customer study session to tell us how Faraday is already using this great new feature to improve their NLP workflows and add text generation to their data. Seamus, in a few words, can you tell us who you are and what Faraday does? Sure. Hi. My name is Shamus Absher, and I'm a co-founder and the CTO at Faraday. Faraday is the AI engine behind a lot of U.S. brands that you probably already know. And what we do is model the behavior of, of U.S. customers using Google's BigQuery ML technology. And it's been really transformational for us because we've been able to build different powerful models without having to build an infrastructure around them. Whoa, so when I order a BarkBox for my dog, you're behind that? How do you implement this today? Yeah, right now we use a lot of BigQuery ML's industry-leading predictive AI suite. And so that's everything from classifier models that tell you the probability of something happening to regression models, which help us tell how much somebody's going to spend. And then we also do unsupervised learning models like K-means to help with personalization segmentation. Got it. So I'm hearing you say that you're building various models within BigQuery ML for different tasks. Now let's get to the fun part. How are you using our new LLM function to do more with less? Sure. So I've got two different use cases today. The first is sentiment analysis. Sentiment analysis is very interesting because it lets us take unstructured data and turn it into predictive features that can feed our other models. So today we are limited to NLP models that are not very good at this task. And so like if we have call center records that we want to turn into predictive features, the models get very confused and they return results that, that we can't use. Once we started using the LLM feature inside of BigQuery, we noticed two things. First of all, the machine had managed to capture the real nuance and feeling in the human text. The other thing was that it was returning it to us in a, in a much cleaner format with a lot less noise. That's really cool. So what I'm hearing you say is that there's no longer a need to set up dedicated models, specialized APIs to do natural language tasks like phantom analysis or end recognition or Q&A or any of the other NLP tasks, right? That's right. That's right. So the other use case I wanted to talk about was content generation. And it's useful because personalization is a proven technique to improve the results of, of marketing by personalizing messages to different audiences. Well, what if you could personalize at the individual level instead of at the group level? And so there are some APIs uh, today that do this. We could also you know, hit an API over HTTP to do this for LLMs. But that requires us to build a lot of infrastructure to ensure that we can push the amount of data that we have through a relatively small pipe that's subject to all sorts of retry problems, rate limiting, all that stuff. And so once we tried it in BigQuery in the LLM, we found a couple different advantages. The first was we were able to very simply express our combination of demographic data with the prompt. And we also found that the LLM, BARD, or its Google Cloud equivalent, it really understood what we were trying to do. So when we gave it a real prompt, trying to describe a humidifier that the company itself described as an intelligent humidifier with embedded sensors, the LLM was able to re-describe that product in terms that 
uh, somebody who doesn't who doesn't know what embedded sensors are. And so what the LLM came up with was a humidifier that turns itself on and off based on how humid it is in your room. So just to make this point extra clear, we're now doing content generation right inside BigQuery with unstructured text data, which has never been possible before. Yeah, we loved how we could iterate our prompt and BARD until we got it right. And then we could copy it over in a BigQuery and run it at scale. And BigQuery took care of all of the data movement and all the infrastructure. That's super cool. To recap, what Faraday's use cases have shown us today is that one, results are much better with LLM models than classic NLP models. And two, with this new function that we've launched within BigQuery ML, all these operations can happen right inside BigQuery. There's no need to move your data, build new pipelines, or connect with new APIs. And there, lastly, um, there's it unlocks this entirely new capability to generate text content within BigQuery directly. Thank you so much, Seamus, for the excellent demos. As you can see, this new function, ML.GenerateText, is really the perfect way to get the most out of your unstructured data. So if you're interested to try this out, please use this link to sign up today. We can't wait to see what you can build. This was great. Thanks again, Seamus. It's my pleasure. Thanks so much for having me, Tony.